at the very very top uh, right here we're gonna cover you know the very top of KV core here uh, there is a um, you know a, a, a magnifying glass you can use this magnifying glass to search for contacts and then you have a button that takes you to the marketplace where you can purchase additional um, you know features for KV core um, or different inter integrations or upgrades to your website plenty of different things there the free version is already jam-packed with a lot of great features uh, so um, I would recommend mastering everything you have at your disposal first before you start purchasing extra things okay but that is where what you can find in the marketplace And then we have the quick actions button. So this button is gonna be a blue button that says quick actions all the way at the top. And this bar up here, by the way, will always be displayed no matter what screen you're on on, on KV Core. So this is uh, going to be always there for you to click on. So the quick action button, when you click on it, it will give you a few options here. Uh, you can quickly add a contact, quickly make a call, add a note, add a task quickly create a blog article or quickly send an email. So if you're in a rush and you want to do something very quickly, this button is going to be your best friend. You could just open up KV Core and click on the quick actions button to go ahead and do, uh, you know, perform um, some of those actions there. Next up, we have this little mail icon here. So KV Core can actually link to your email uh, you know provider so that you can see your email straight from KV Core instead of having to log on to maybe your Gmail separately in another tab okay so that is what you will find here and a lot of people don't know this I'm actually going to disconnect my um, account so that you see what this would look like from you know from scratch so when you click on it initially this is what you will see so as of right now you can connect a google mail account or an outlook mail account uh, which i would say is what most people have nowadays either gmail if you have yahoo or um you know any other providers you may not be able to connect it as of right now but hey by the time you're watching this video it might be one of the options but if you have a google account like me or an outlook all you would need to do is again click on the little mail icon up top here next to the quick actions button and then go ahead and click on connect a google mail account what that will do is it'll open up a new tab and then it will ask you to sign in with your preferred email address okay so in my case i'm going to choose this first one here and then it's going to ask you um, you know do, are you allowing inside real estate or kv core to access the information uh, cited above I'm gonna click allow and once I do that KV core will uh, reload it'll take me back to the initial page and if I click on the mail icon once more notice that it's telling me I have zero new messages but if you were to get any extra new emails you will be able to see those right here okay if I go ahead and click Google settings now which will appear after connecting our Google account or our Outlook account there's some great features you can take advantage of right here. So when you click on Google settings or Outlook settings, whichever one you connect, it's going to show you different things you can toggle on. So I can sync um, uh, my unread emails or my you know contact emails through here. So that means anyone that sends me emails, I'll be able to see them straight from here, like we already mentioned. And then down below, we can also sync our Google Calendar with KV Core. Okay, so if I go ahead and switch this on, all the actions or you know events I have on my calendar will now be synced with KV Core. So that now gives me the ability to have all of those uh, resources in one place. I can see my emails in one place and all the events on my calendar in one place. Okay, which is a very powerful tool. It kind of concentrates you know everything you need in one central spot. And then right below that, which is the most important, you know, feature that comes with connecting your um, email account, I would say, is the ongoing contact syncing. OK, so by switching this on sync all Google contacts or Outlook contacts with KV Core is whenever you go ahead and save a new contact onto your phone, which most often than not is connected to your email account what that contact will now be synced with KV Core. And 
inversely, <laughs> whatever contact you save onto KV Core will now be pushed through and synchronized with your mail account, which then will pop up on your phone. So in a nutshell, what that means is, say you meet a client and uh, you save their number on your phone, that will automatically flow into KV Core. Or say you're on the phone with a client and they give you somebody else's you know, uh, information and you directly plug it into KV Core, that will now flow directly into your cellular device, iPad or whatever is connected to your email that has the option to show your contacts. Very, very powerful tool. Okay, so I would switch this on to make your life easier if you would like, and then uh, go ahead and click the always button here. So this will make it so that it's always pushing new contacts into KV Core and vice versa. And all of the contacts that are added as a result of this synchronization, you can have them imported as, you know, different statuses. So it could be imported as a sphere. It can be imported as prospects, new leads. This is your choice. No matter what you choose here, um, you'll be able to change this later. Uh, so by default, it's going to be sphere. So when you have all of this set up here, you can go ahead and click save settings and then all of those uh, changes will be saved and you would be on your way to synchronizing your contacts, synchronizing your emails and also your Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar events. OK, this is a very, very cool tool that a lot of people don't use. Next up, we have the show notifications um, button right here. It'll look like a, a box, a, ch a check box. So this will show you basically what tasks you have to uh, do. So as you can see here, I have plenty of different things going on here. It'll show you what's you know past due, what's due today, what's due tomorrow, and all the upcoming tasks. Okay, very, very straightforward. And then the button right after that is show recent activity. It'll look like this little arrow with a clock on there. So that tells you what's been going on, you know, what communication has been going on, what emails have been sent out, what texts have been sent out, or, uh, you know, what's overall been going on so that you can see what KV Core has been up to. So you can see, uh, you know, I've sent my friend Colin here some listings and, um, you know, that that's something KV Core automatically sent out on my behalf. Um, you know, this person right here, note was automatically created on my behalf. So a lot of different, you know, cool things over here that are going on. Okay. So right after that, we have show chats. So this button right here will show me all of the different chats that I have opened up to keep track of my communications between my client and I. Okay. And if you don't know, KV Core now offers a an application that's free of charge that comes with, you know, KV Core that you can send out to your clients and it will be branded to you. The app is called the 360 Home app. OK, and we'll touch on that in a different video. OK, so that is what this chat button does. And then last but not least, this is your settings area, if you will, when you click on the drop down with your name, which is the very last option on this screen, you'll be able to see your smart number, what your um, EXP, well, your KV Core email is, what your website is, um, the link to download your app. That's what this link is. And then you have a, a my profile section right here and then a bunch of different, um, you know, quick links to other resources that you can access through KV Core. Okay, and then down here, you are able to click the logout button to sign into a different account if you have another account. So that is the overview of the navigation bar, you know, at the top of KV Core here.